let me make sure I'm pronouncing your name right, Dr. Uma Valetti, right? That's correct. He is CEO of Memphis Meats. Uma, lab-grown meat brings to mind frankenfood, playing with nature. You're basically cloning meat, right? Is that what you're doing? We are not cloning anything. We are growing these cells. So these cells are growing and becoming muscle tissue. It's just so funny, like, you have to change your thinking and your vocabulary to even discuss the subject. It's, it's just such an <laughs> odd uh, new, new concept. I'd like to be an investor because I have a feeling this might be one of the biggest IPOs in the history of the world. <laughs> This has been something that I've been dreaming about since I was a kid. Can you grow meat from animal cells? My whole life, all I wanted to do was be a chef, and I wanted to focus on meat. My training is in biomedical engineering. I was actually a tissue engineer. I took an urban agriculture class that really opened my eyes to what we were doing to the planet just by feeding ourselves. We want to separate the animal from meat making the division cycle of the cell rather than the reproductive cycle of the animal. This is a huge, huge paradigm shift. These small tissue samples will produce extremely large amounts of meat. From the consumer perspective, we're facing a brave new world. Technology that was once the stuff of science fiction and now becoming a reality. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of fear around the intersection of food and technology. The manufacturers of lab-grown products should be required to invest in their own market and not ride the coattails of beef's success. Right now is a make or break moment for clean meat. I'm signing a letter with the largest meat trade association in the world. Felt like the right thing to do. We are going to bring everybody under this tent. The meat industry knows that they can't meet the demand. If the demand for meat is going to double by 2050, there is no method of production at their disposal now that would satisfy that hunger for meat. I just want to make sure you're looking at this as a very big historic thing in this world. That is meat.